I want you to do me a favor and think of a person in your life who always seems a little bit arrogant, a little bit prideful, tends to have that condescending kind of attitude toward others and eagerly points out their faults and is kind of critical of other people. We all have several of those in our lives. Do you enjoy being around that person? That's my question. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. You do not particularly enjoy being around that arrogant, self-righteous person. And yet, here's what I'm going to say ever so gently to you. Both you and I as wives, we can sometimes be that person who probably subconsciously, not intentionally, but subconsciously and subtly point out the flaws in our husband and sometimes take this kind of condescending uh, attitude toward him and maybe point out his flaws with an exasperated sigh like he just doesn't get it. In fact, I sat in several counseling sessions with married married couples and, and it's easy to see it in someone else, probably not so easy to see it myself, but I've noticed the wife in kind of a gentle but condescending way point out her husband's flaws and, and roll her eyes at him and say like he just doesn't get how to do relationships. Oh, and, and it can happen to all of us so easily. You know, your husband's doing the vacuuming and you go, oh, that's not the right way to do that. Oh, you know, that exasperated side. And it comes across like we are so much better than we're the only ones that know how to do things right. And that is so self-righteous and kind of ugly. Let's just be honest. Almost nothing, almost nothing is more repulsive to a husband than a self-righteous, arrogant wife who acts that she's so much better than. In fact, listen to what Proverbs 13.10 says in the NLT translation. It says, pride leads to conflict. Yeah, and it sometimes does because the husband is starting to feel like, like he's worth nothing and this arrogant, prideful attitude that he gets from his wife, it, it just is, it, it repels him. It's repulsive. Listen to what the Bible says. I found this to be particularly convicting actually. It's in Luke 18. It's a parable that Jesus was telling his disciples. It's called the parable of the, Paris, the Pharisees and the tax collector. It says, to some who were confident of their own righteousness and look down on everybody else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood up and prayed about himself, God, I thank you that I am not like others, like other men, those adulterers, those evildoers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Ooh, so convicting. Did you catch that, that phrase where that Pharisee, that self-righteous person said, I thank God I'm not like these other people. Ooh, yuck, right? Self-righteousness is so ugly. So ladies, let's ask the Holy Spirit to help us with this. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to help us notice when we're being self-righteous and stop it.